Hello again, I am Blunt. You still can't find Mallet Pelmike. If any of you know where it is, let me know down below. Technology is a constant march of technological progress, and while endless amounts of some very good sci-fi, TV, movies, books, comic books have torn deeply into a healthy paranoia about our endless last forever smarter and more convenient devices getting away from us a little bit and leading into a nightmare cyberpunk dystopia, or even to the brink of extinction of humanity itself, Every once in a while, WD kick their stuff up another notch, and every once in a while, they sponsor me to take a quick squiz at their latest and greatest. And despite my efforts to nerd up the intro a little bit with some drama, because I'm on a sci-fi kick again lately, playing Cyberpunk, No Man's Sky, watching Robocop, the good old Robocop, not the newer soulless dumb one, I am almost entirely certain that this product Always got to check, I got to hold it up the right way around. Is is safe for you personally and for humanity as a whole. In fact, I truly believe that the new hotness of the WD SN850X is not just safe, but highly desirable and can do nothing but good things for the performance thirsty PC gamer, be it yourself or perhaps a loved one. This, you know, we are crawling towards the holiday season after all. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hint, hint. Or maybe it's someone you want to have less interaction with and so in the hopes of seeing them happily disappear into their favourite games, you offer this crank to the quality of their gamer life and watch them vanish into a game and not bother you so much with their wants and needs and human compassion. As is the way of things, the new model is faster and larger. I mean, more storage, not physically larger, because doy. The WD Black label tells you it's built for hardcore gamers. The X is, I think, frankly, just there to sound cool because they started doing that kind of stuff with us Gen X peeps back in the 90s, and it kind of stuck because it always sounds cool. X. And I'm, I'm fine with that, quite honestly. The WD Black SN850, however, is, as you'd expect from WD's Black Browning, a high-end SSD, M.2 form factor, of course, PCIe 4.0 to be specific. And even though in most PCs you might not be able to see it, for those of you who can mount these things in positions of clear view, it even has a little splash of RGB lighting on the integrated heat spreader. And that high spec and integrated heat spreader, of course, makes it a prime choice for an PS5 gamer, but I'll be honking this one into my gaming rig, because let's face it, PC gaming is better, right? I'm not trying to start any fights in the comments unless you want to do that, because YouTube doesn't care what you say in the comment section, it just counts as engagement, whether or not you fight or you're nice to each other down there. I prefer nice, but if you want to, if you want, if you want to fight between PC elitists and, and Sony ponies, that's fine, it works for me too. Now look, I like my PS5 just fine, but PC gaming is better, more, faster, better and way more choice which is one of the pain points this thing is solving for as a matter of fact see that for a segue choice more storefronts more games to choose from on the storefronts more choice more games means more installs and more installs means more space swallowed up and here's the fun part these new wd black sn850 x's coming up to four monstrous Terabyte capacities. It's twice what they used to come in. WD sent me the two terabyte model to check out though, so how about a little sarcastic pity party in the down below for me? Because um you know it's not the biggest one. It's not it's not the biggest one. Just just two whole terabytes. Woe is me. Only two entire terabytes to deal with. Won't somebody think of the blunty? Snark aside, the latest big brand game to launch, as I record this video, is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and its install size is 150 gigabytes, which is nuts. So nuts. But, and someone check my brain math on this because I didn't use a calculator, it's what, 13 full installs of that chonker, thick thighs, save lives, monster lover of a game that will fit on this two terabyte drive alone. And again, that's not even the biggest size that these come in. And of course, we need to talk about speed. With the most demanding games these days having huge worlds filled with massive high res textures and just, just, just hilariously high numbers of geometry faces, hilarious to me anyway as a grey beard. I have been a gamer for quite some time already, before the world Polygon ever entered the common game of vernacular. So yeah, the kind of numbers we're talking about these days, it's just, it's, it's the clown numbers, they're insane. Point is, lots of files need to be streamed around inside your magic game box very fast. And to that end, the WD Black SN850X stomps into the room with a maximum speed of 7.3 gigabits per second read speed and so can store writes of 6.6 .6 gigabits a second. And that latter number in particular is a big jump over even the most immediate forebear of this model. 
And in the real world, past the numbers on the box and in the press release, yada yada yada, I'm very pleased to tell you that, yeah, it delivers exactly as fast as it says it can. And to help keep things running slick and fast, WD even have their own monitoring and management software. It's pretty clean and tidy. Even the noobs out there should be able to navigate it quite easily. Big buttons and everything. You've got your RGB control in there, of course, or you can link it to a bunch of common RGB software for various motherboards and cases and whatnot. You know, those control systems, it links into those seamlessly. And it includes something called Gamer Mode 2.0, somewhat more practical than RGB. It takes a triple jab at performance tweaking. Firstly, it uses predictive loading algorithms designed to read and optimize re uh, read workloads common in many games to make sure that the game, you know, what the game most likely needs next is sitting there ready at hand to so just go here. Right. Secondly, adaptive thermal management. It's what it sounds like. It's using a smoother thermal throttling technique than is, you know, the usual setting to help keep performance high and consistent while under the particular workload of gaming. And lastly, overhead balancing, which prioritizes IO stuff to further improve read latency while gaming. And they're all gamer specific stuff because that type of workload is very different to say video editing, for example. So you can tweak it specific to gaming and make gaming just a little bit better. None of these things are going to magically boost the performance to insane levels never heard of by man or machine. But as I'm sure my fellow PC gamers know, all these little things, they just, they just add up. So it's still pretty cool to have that in the back pocket, ready to go. Now, this is a sponsored video. I said that at the outstart. Um, at least I hope I remember to say that at the outstart. So there's things that WD wanted me to focus on. Make sure I told you about. Make sure the brand message is, is coming through crisp and clear. But speaking personally, both inside and outside of professional cooperation with WD as a brand, as a whole over the years, I have been using and relying on WD drives from across their entire lineup, from, from basic SATA SSDs uh, to external drives from my video production backup staff through the enormous multi-terabyte 3.5 inch spinning disc that I've got in my massive network storage devices through to, of course, my gaming rigs um, and, and the black line specifically, which is what we've been talking about today. And of course, not just limited to my PC, but of course, the things like the PS5. And not one of them over the last, what has it been now, nearing 17 years of this doing this YouTube production stuff, not ever once has any of them ever let me down. Each and every one has kept reliably ticking along well past the point where I was ready to upgrade and move on from, you know, the older thing to the newer thing. So when it comes to recommending WD or indeed taking their money for a sponsored video, zero reservations here. They earned my trust the hard way in the real world under real daily use years and years and years on end. So yeah, if you're looking to kick up your gaming SSD for faster, tighter, larger gaming, cast an eye towards WD Black's line and the SN850X in particular, Blunty approved, newest, fastest, bestest, quickest they've ever done. And um, I'm impressed with it. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. I will catch you next time. Thank you as always to the patrons and thank you once more to WD for sponsoring this video. I will catch you next time. And I am Blunty. Might have said that twice. Lost track of things for a second there.